Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I was once the problem. Now what I'm seeking to do is how do I get back? How do I right my wrong? And you know what? I used to get in a world of trouble between the age of 14 and 24. And right now, by the time I was 24, my life that I knew it was over with, it was done. I remember getting arrested, being extradited and going to MCC New York. I had the opportunity to meet this guy. Right now it was Wayne Akbar Pratt, a drug kingpin out of Newark, New Jersey. And right now when I met this guy, I couldn't understand it. The way he was so laid back, so mellow, so at peace, despite he was incarcerated and facing life at the time. You know, as time went on, he wanted to get in sentence and get in life. And this man been in jail since, what, 1988. And when you look at it, since 1988, that's 35 years. And when I watch and I see other individuals that got life, because people don't understand, back in the days when you used to get a federal sentence of life, life mean life. Only what you can get from under that life sentences, besides cooperation, is a presidential pardon. That's it. Now they have these programs intact. The first act, giving people opportunity. Akbar is 75. But I'm seeing right now, they're giving compassion release. For what? Southwest T. Right now, was it put in, you know, he got 30 years. When in 2005, came out what, 2020, 2021? So when you look at it right now in his 50s, Akbar 75, you got guys like, you know, Dr. Guy Fisher, you know what I'm saying? William Underwood, these guys had life. But guess what? It was violence involved. It was killing involved. And yet in still regards what? They was able to get a second chance. They was able to take full advantage of the situation. And don't get me wrong, from my understanding, right now, these guys was in there, no infraction, disciplinary reports, and they was helping different people get their GED, educating them, counseling them. That's the same thing Ogbar's doing. Ogbar been doing that from day one. So what's the difference? Why is that man not released? Why didn't they grant that man some type of remedy in the court? Why didn't he receive a presidential pardon or coming home on compassion release? He's 75. He'd been in there for 35 years. He's a model, you know what I'm saying, inmate. But what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Who's determined who's entitled to what? Especially when people have changed, when people have shown remorse. So you know what, before I go any further, let me try to, you know, get y'all to have a better understanding. Who was Akbar? Akbar Prey, born Wayne B. Prey on March 22nd, 1948, is an American writer, commonist, and convicted drug kingpin from Newark, New Jersey, who was serving a life prison sentence. Prey had a narcotic operation that distributed Millions of dollars worth of cocaine and marijuana into the Exit County, New Jersey, from the early 70s to the late 80s. The prey organization called itself the family and consists of more than 300 active members. In addition to it, drug distribution network, the group had been active in real estate ventures and weapon dealing. Once described as untouchable by law enforcement, prey was sentenced to life while possibly parole in 1990. So when you look at it, like I say, he's been in since 1988. It is 2023. And once again, no violence. Nobody got murdered. Nobody got shot, killed, whatever. So here it is. This man right now has been in here for 35 years. And like I said right now, is when you look at it, all his accomplishment, it's time for him to come home. It's time for right now, Wiz, you know what? The federal government take another look at his case. And right now, let's give him some type of form of remedy through the first act or whatever law that can be applied to get that man out. That man is a grandfather. He's a great, you know what I'm saying, grandfather. He's a father. 
I'm saying right now is, listen, he got plenty of people that's out there that love him, that support him, that need him. So once again, like I said right now, folks, man, listen, we got to get some type of formal petition going and get that brother out, man. Because once again, he had, I'm saying, pay his debt back to society. Listen, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support the real Brian Grace Gibbs. One love.